somebody um i think watch one of my clips and said um stella what do you mean by cultivate your mind and i thought to share because who knows maybe there's somebody out there that really wants to know how to cultivate your mind you cultivate your mind when you are mindful of the words you speak that takes a lot of discipline you are mindful of what you hear and listen to you're mindful of what you do on a daily basis and above all you cultivate your mind to be always in a gratitude mode regardless there's a post I put out um, some time ago when I said um, there was something, there was a challenge going on in the family. And um, the first day they told me the news, they gave me the news rather, I, it kind of really knocked me down. And I was like, okay, this is the time I would know if really what I talk about, you know, I practicalize it because I'm one who is very big in being grateful regardless of the challenges you know that will be thrown at you daily because daily something there's something waiting for us every day you know um, sometimes really good sometimes mm, you know but either way we remain grateful we remain grateful because we are alive you know because there are people who don't mind having those challenges we have and still be alive so anyway not to debate so i told the person that i've had challenges within the family that's kind of shook me a bit but i'm one who don't dwell and i'm sure i've spoken a lot about not dwelling you know accept not denying accept what has happened um pray over it i believe in prayer i'm telling you the things i do and you let it go you get on with your life so by the next day um i was up and about doing what i have to do because i have always said i am love i am love i am light you know i am love i am light we all are but it's it's up to the individual to accept that they are you know, I've put up, put up something, not just one. I've put out quite a lot with regards to love, loving yourself and being love and being light wherever you are. I know we live in a world where all sorts happens. Father can stab, child, mother can, child can stab, friends can stab. But in it all, find a way to cultivate that mind. That above everything else that you're mindful of, that you are always in the mood of gratitude. That would really go a long way. I'm speaking from experience. I'm talking to you from things haven't happened to me and the way I go about it. And believe you me, it is lighter and easier to be in the gratitude mode it actually helps you go through whatever challenges you have and sometimes you are the pillar as in the strong person to kind of get everyone within the space of this challenge or the challenge you might have to raise their head above the water it's not nothing is forever there's a tunnel and there is light always bear that in mind so to cultivate your mind should i say the four or five things you need to do on a daily basis be mindful of what you say your words be mindful of the pictures you allow into your sensories because this is like this is like um, a recorder, recording and recording and recording, taking in and taking in and taking in. 
you know so be mindful of your words be mindful of the pictures you're taking and what you listen to be mindful of um the fact that you remain grateful all the time notwithstanding what and be mindful you know on within uh, within being grateful actually this fourth one can tie into it which is being mindful that you are happy for the life you have while you're journeying to where you want to be i'll see you in my next clip thank you